Hey guys, Hummus28 here, and today I'm bringing you some more Minecraft Flats Mod Apocalypse. But, as you noticed from last episode, I have died, and we haven't found the way back. There's some trees here. We are going to have to rebuild our stuff. We're going to need weapons and gear if we're going to survive out here. We're also going to need food. Food is going to be the hardest part of this, because we can get food only from killing enemies and finding it by scavenging it from abandoned bases. Let's see, let's cut down this tree here. Okay, so now we can get going. Skeleton is over there with a weapon. We're gonna need a weapon in order to survive. We need to kill some guys because we need to steal their food. And while at the same time we have to scavenge and find our base. Let's see, what do you have? A DP 28, 32 rounds. It's a 2D weapon, so you can't aim with it, but that's fine. Let's see, we got a big canyon over here. So ores will spawn there. Let's keep checking around here. Trekking down the canyon will be a little bit difficult. Okay, there is a vehicle over there. Kind of want to get it, so let's hobble down. That way, so much. You have to sand here. I need more sand. You'll put sand down. Okay, so there's the car. It looks to be like a big truck. There's a sulfur field over there, so it might make driving it a bit difficult. Let's check it out. It has a shovel on the front. Gun in the back. Are these guns mountable? Oops, wrong gun. Okay, so let's check it out. Guns. It has two passenger guns. They're both empty. Cargo. Empty. Fuel. Okay, it's full of fuel. Repair. It only lost some core, so it should be good to run. Okay, with a vehicle of this size, it should make us pretty formidable out here. We're gonna have to cross this sulfur field though. That's going to be the most difficult part. Okay, it looks like there's an abandoned some abandoned buildings over there. We're gonna check it out. We might be able to find some weapon boxes. We can craft some stuff. It is a good location to set up a new base. Especially with the car, it'll let us, once we have ammo for the car, it'll let us more efficiently move through and take out enemies. Because if we, as, once we can fill the guns with ammo, we should be set because the, the car itself will take shots away from us and will allow us to gun down enemies. Let's check this out. Okay, it looks like we got some weapon boxes in there. Guns drawn. Can never be sure. Okay, we got some some wool in here. We got some green and pink wool and some white. We're gonna need to take that. We got some armor in here too. Grab this stuff. Grab, grab. Grab and grab. So we got a full Russian set. What's this one? Just a sweater. Put that back. Okay, so we got a gun mod table, American weapon box, vehicle crafting, very good. Modern weapon box for the good stuff. It is more expensive though. Dyes, bone meal, clay, cactus, cocoa, dyes, more dyes, more dyes, more dyes. And some crafting tables. Okay, so this is where we're going to set up home base. It is very good. All we have to do is board it up. Install some, some furnaces and some doors here. We're going to need some of this. We're going to need a pickaxe. We're going to need some stone so we can immediately move up from the stone age. We're close enough to this sulfur 
but we don't have to worry about ammo. Especially with the wall here. Got some lapis up there. Bunch of iron. We're gonna need the stone though so we can break through the iron. Okay, we got a plane flying up. Not sure what it's doing. Shoot at it. Oh, I gotta mount this one, don't I? Yep. How do I... How do I mount? Shoot. Okay, so it does shoot. Dismount it. Break it. It's kind of useless. As long as we don't get the drop on us by anything, should be fine. And because of the wool, we'll be able to make a bed. So if we die, we will just respawn right here, which is perfectly fine. Okay, crafting table up. Put that in there. We're gonna need some. We're gonna need some stone. We don't want to run because we don't have any food. Do I see something? No. I'm hoping for a guy to spawn in so we can kill him and eat. Okay, so we're back. As you can see, I've mined out a ton of iron ore just from one vein, a whole stack in 24. Cooking some charcoal right now, got about three. Gonna toss two in there. We're gonna start cooking this. We need eight charcoal to do all this. Put one in there just to be sure all that oak is good. Charcoal. Running out of food though. We've yet to see anyone, which means we can't kill them for food. I built a bed, so we should be fine. Well, let's see, can I run some, someone over? No. We're going to chop down this tree, build a, build a sword since this gun's mounted. Not very good for just attacking someone. Let's see, there's a plane. Probably going to crash. We're going to need to hunt some people. So we got some good wood here, 16 oak, so that's about 6, so that's exactly 16 charcoal. We're down at 2 and a half food. There's a bomber, I hope it doesn't draw bombs on me. Okay, looks like we're good. I don't see the point of them just flying around. Maybe it's to, like, you're supposed to try to take them? Can't be sure. But we're going to trek over that way, because it should make finding the base a lot easier. Okay, so we need 2 in here, the rest in there. We're gonna need a sword, and for that we're gonna need some wood. Don't have wood though, I just am turning it all into charcoal. Okay, we're gonna take half of this. We need some wood. Sticks, eight sticks should be fine. Iron sword. We're gonna craft some iron tools actually. We're gonna need an iron pick. Iron shovel. Alright, oh, there we go. An iron axe. I'm gonna deposit the rest in here. Set the rest of this to cook. Grab some more charcoal. Put it in there. Grab the rest of the iron. Okay, so now that we have a sword, we're gonna drive off this direction, see if we can't find any food. Luckily, this is a very good vehicle. It's not the quickest, it's faster than walking on foot, but it's a bit slower than running. But I don't have the luxury of being able to run right now.
and our house is on fire. That's not good. Okay, I'm abandoning this. We're gonna run over there. For some okay, well never mind, we can't run, don't have enough food. Why is the house on fire? A guy spawned over there. Build some towers so we can walk up to him. Okay, there he is. We're gonna knife him in the back. Easy enough. He okay, he had some food on him. Our house is on fire, it's slowly burning. He had an Olympia out of ammo though. I'm not quite sure why he just spontaneously combusted. Someone's shooting at me. I don't know. Oh, there's the, where the shots are coming from. Let's kill this guy. Did he have food on him? No. Okay, best I can do is start cutting away at this. Okay, that's most of it out. Okay, so our house was on fire. That's that's fine. He gave us wood. We're gonna use this wood to repair the house. Throw that in there. The rest of the charcoal in here. Okay, so we're gonna take these, just repair the house. I'm not sure if wood just has a random chance of being spontaneously combusted, in which case I should rebuild this out of stone, but I'm not, I can't be sure. I know I've seen people spontaneously combust, so it might have to do with that. That's most of the house covered. That's fine. In the next episode, we're going to trek out this way, see what we can find. But as for now, this is Thomas28, signing off. I'll see you guys next time.